Coming up on this week's newscast, we got a look at how NHS will handle the remaining school blood drives and a profile on the softball team's new coach. All this and more on this week's episode. Get ready because BNN starts now. Kaylee Sims. With only one blood drive left this year, the National Honor Society has successfully moderated the donation of hundreds of pints of blood from BNI students. Here's Grace Buxka with a look at the NHS's process for running the blood drives. NHS's second blood drive of the school year will have happened this month. After a successful drive in the beginning of the school year, NHS is hoping for an even more successful blood drive on February 8th. Senior Addison Sapowski, a chairman of the blood drive, says it's important to give blood. So we do our blood drives through Versity Blood Centers um, of Illinois, and they're a pretty big um, company, and they've always we've always done it through Versity, and they've always been really helpful and super supportive and nice and making sure that all of the donors are comfortable. I donate blood because it's a way that I can give back to the community in a way that I know is good karma and if I needed blood, somebody would give to me, so I just want to do my part. I try to give blood because of the feeling I get afterwards. I feel like all clean and rejuvenated. It feels like a refresh for me. NHS does not have any benefits of the blood drive. This is solely to benefit our community and those in need. This is the worst blood shortage the United States has faced in over a decade, according to the American Red Cross. Due to this shortage, Red Cross has had to limit its blood product distributions to hospitals. So, if you are of age and able to donate blood, please consider it. There will be one more opportunity this April to donate blood. Also, if you donate blood through the school, you will be given a t-shirt and Christian services. The Warrior vs. Warrior Tournament is in full swing. Today, during SRT, there will be an UNO tournament in the Media Center. First place gets 100 points, second place gets 75, third place gets 50, and last place gets 25 points. This week in Mr. Driscoll's sophomore theology, students join together in solidarity with the worldwide church in praying for Ukraine and Eastern Europe. The prayer service for peace, which was led in part by student lectors, included the latest news update from EWTN, a homily from Deacon Bob Mendoza of St. Edward in Lowell, scripture, petitions, a hymn, and a candlelight prayer. The daily updates in theology have been giving me a more religion-based perspective on the whole uh, Ukraine situation, because I see it on the news and then I see it in theology class. It just gives me a different perspective of it. It shows me the bravery of others and everything else that's happening around the world and just not showing that there are more things happening than just than what's happening around me. Consistent with the nature of the course, as well as BNI's commitment to solid Catholic formation, Mr. Driscoll has also been providing students with daily updates on the war from the perspective of the Pope and his magisterium. Utilizing resources and videos from a variety of news sources covering the Vatican. Well, obviously there are other teachers in the school who will give the historical perspective, perhaps uh, the geography of it all. But from a faith perspective, I feel like it's my job to put it in a religious context um, and just to let uh, my students know about the, the social justice impact that it has. Um, and obviously just to continue to join our brothers and sisters in the Ukraine in their time of need and despair. Um, I'd like to think that my students are getting a better perspective of the suffering and just, uh, just how powerful the power of prayer can be. And, and we've tried to unite them by being more informed about what's going on there, but also um, in continuing to pray for them as well. That's all for news this week. Here's Millie Magana with sports.
The varsity hockey team suffered an unfortunate loss to the Southwest Michigan Blades. However, this is the first time the BNA hockey team has played in the state tournament at the 4A level, and they still have many accomplishments, including the Roper Cup championship and a JV state win. The boys basketball team has entered the sectional tournament with a bye. They will play the winner of Andrean versus Ileana Christian on March 4th. And finally, the Bishop Knoll softball team welcomes 2014 alum Elena Sobilo, teacher at the St. John the Baptist, as the new varsity softball coach. Here's Rochelle Mallory with the story. It's that time again, Bishop Knoll. Our spring sports are starting back up again with softball tryouts right around the corner. This year, the softball team has a new coach. Alumni Elena Sullivan, who graduated in 2014, is excited to start working with the new team this year. I'm excited to return to Knoll this season. Um, it can feel a little strange being back in a building that you spent so much time in um, over high school and not recognizing the faces, um, but it also feels like uh, returning home. I enjoyed my experience at Bishop Knoll, and whenever I step back into the doors, it's like it feels like coming home. So I'm very excited to be back and coaching at Knoll. Sophomore Jaleesa Crawford was a freshman last year and has always loved softball. She is also excited for the new season with the new coach. With the new coach, I feel like the girls' attitudes will be different because it's a more positive atmosphere. And then with the girls, I feel like we're all going to get along great. With Miss Oliver returning to coach here at Bishop Knoll with being a St. John Baptist teacher, she is determined to make some changes and to better the team as a whole with losing eight seniors last year. Um, my biggest focus for this season is returning to fundamentals. So we lost eight seniors last season, um, which is a pretty high number considering you can only have nine players on the field at a time in softball. So this year, overall, our team is going to be relatively young. So making sure that the upperclassmen and underclassmen have a strong skill background and are really honed in to just doing the skills correctly is going to help us this season to compete and moving forward with the seasons to come. The last day of conditioning will be this Friday, March 5th, with tryouts being March 7th from 3.30 to 5.30. Good luck, Warriors. With holidays quickly approaching, B&I students are having a friendly competition to celebrate. Today we'll be following our contestants for a pie eating contest and we'll be getting to know the contestants better. One person from each grade will compete to be crowned the ultimate winner of the pie eating contest. The competition will be whoever gets to the bottom of the pan first. The winner gets a prize. Here are our contestants. Hi, I'm Gio, and I'm a freshman. I'm Kylie, and I'm a sophomore. I'm Maddie, and I'm a junior. I'm Ethan, and I'm a senior. pretty fast so I think that helped me a little bit. I also think I eat pretty fast. Uh, I would rate it a 1 out of 10. I almost threw up and my stomach hurts so I would not recommend. I would rate it a 2 out of 10. It was fun like during but it's disgusting. I would not recommend. Contestants. I'm fat and I like to eat and I'm Mexican. I like to eat as well and I make sure I clean my plate. 
I would do it again because I'm always hungry, no matter what. That whipped cream is really good, so I would definitely do it again. 10 out of 10. Here's Mallory, the Bishop Mill softball team welcomes 24 Elena 